Okay, so we're going to be adding a domain to uh, shift CRM and go high level so that we can actually run landing pages and funnels. Okay, so first what we're going to do is we're going to go to our DNS, which is going to be wherever we purchase a domain from, whether it's GoDaddy or Namecheap. And then you're just going to go into um, edit the domain or, or manage. And it's going to take you to here where you can put in the name servers. And uh, to put them in, you want to, let's see. I can't remember what to adjust the name servers to right now. Let's see. Actually, yeah, because it, it has you set up different name servers too. Okay, so actually I have to go, I think this is okay. I can leave that alone with what that was on. I actually have to go into the advanced DNS. That's where we manage it from. We might have to do something with the name servers. I can't remember off the top right now. Okay, so now we go to the C name and we're just going to right here where it says C name record. that a point right there and you just edit it over here and click save changes there and now that c, c name is there and so then you can type in your domain And I don't think it's going to work yet because you have to also route, let's see. Yeah, so now um, you have to also put this, this A record and add new record. Yeah, it's going to be here. A record, paste, save, post. You do the at symbol for the host, save, now, is that the right, oh. And there it goes. Perfect. Then you just select that you want to hook it up to. And, and then that's done. Now, what I want to find out today is if you can do the same process in other accounts. Okay. So like if we go into Revelation Auto Sales, if we're able to. A new domain and do the same one. And oh, that good ball. So that means we only have to make the funnel one time and then we can duplicate the funnel into every dealership's account, add that domain in every single one, and then we can hook it up with their own lead forms and everything. And then the, the leads, okay. we won't have to zap. Let me take this call, brother. I uh, heard one thing. What do you think? Oh, I got a call I... coming in. Hold on. Let me take this call. Let's see. Hello, this is Nate. Hello? Hello, yep. This is Nate. Yes, sir. What can I help you with? Uh, I didn't, I, I don't, I don't think I ever heard back.
Yeah, if you guys could just shoot me over pricing and, and a little bit more information, I can look it over with my partners and let you know. I got to run right now, though. Sorry, boss. Are you back? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, so... So we just need one funnel that each one of them can use. What if we did, okay, so I'll edit this one and make this the generic one. So Nate. What? One thing I want to know is uh, if we add the same domain into our business manager, so then we can only route it through our business manager, right? No, I think then we can run it through anyone's business manager. Okay. We just have to share access, right? Hmm. But we don't need to even share access because we'll get their ad accounts partner access and then we can simply use the same domain to be. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think it's gonna be pretty smooth actually. Um. Okay, so basically what's gonna have to happen is we're going to duplicate this to each dealership we're going to leave all of this the same. What this is, uh, these need to be pictures of happy sold customers. And then uh, this is a, a widget. So what this is, is when you open this up, it actually is a review widget. And so it actually pulls their reviews that they get from Google since it's connected to their Google. And so we don't need... Like just going off the driving with Steve framework here. Cause this dude, this is, I mean, driving with Steve, he's still going, bro. He doesn't lose clients. He's, he's the yeah. man, bro. He's the man with the plan. This is what they do now. But it's all focused on auto financing, but they say that they get a lot of good prime leads. And I think that's because of what the messages say. Um, let's see, I thought when I typed it in earlier, we were on a different landing page, let's see. Yeah, right here, okay, so. See, we'll put pictures of happy customers and then we don't need anything under here. Okay. That's just extra. This, we don't need any of this. No, no logo again. Boom. 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 Next. You don't even need the customer testimonial then because whose Google is it connected to? It's the client's Google, which is connected through their Go High Level account. Okay, okay. Some clients, if they're connected, we will do that. And we want to, let's see, select vehicle type. Proven frameworks.
see what I'm doing here. I'm just making sure it looks good on mobile. So we're going to put a picture there of the customer. It's going to be like one of our ad pictures. And then we're going to do cars with buy a car. And your next car with location name. So we'll put their name in here. Bold. Okay. Find the perfect car in your budget. Yeah, it looks like looking good. Yo, Nate, you there, bro? Yeah. Okay, so I thought I lost my connection. <laughs> So this is where I can adjust the SEO tag. Save, okay, now we need to adjust the actual application itself. Okay, so this is. So Nate, I've still got a question, bro. Mm -hmm. So the question goes that I mean I can under I cannot understand how will each dealership have their own funnel? How will we make sure that they have their own funnel? I mean the branding concept. I mean the first page can be generic. So when they go to the credit app, it should be mentioned as like garden city or something like that, you know. Uh yeah, so with that we'll have We'll just have, we'll, we'll duplicate these into their account and then we'll adjust like the logos. We'll adjust. Oh, I yeah. get it. I get it. Yeah. I get it, man. Okay. So why don't you even have the names of them on the first page? Why even make that? You could, yeah. We can adjust? You could, yeah. Yeah, that's what we could. You know, like happy customer images for... Revolution Autos, we already have those images in the Facebook page. I can literally send you those images right now and you can literally add it. Exactly. I'm gonna show I'm gonna show you how to do this because it's gonna take for each one we're gonna have to I'm gonna show you I'm I'm making the template right now and then you're gonna be able to replicate this very easily. Very easily. I fear I don't mess this. <laughs> I hope I don't it's time to learn, brother. It's time to learn. 
lead gen is everything, bro. It's everything. So we're we're gonna do the pretty much the same protocol here. Oh, they do have a progress bar at the top. That's cool. But don't fear, brother. You'll learn. You'll learn definitely. It's 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 very it's very simple, dude. I'm gonna show you. I'm making the the framework right now so that we can just easily make the the rest of it. Section. And even if I have any problem, lately I believe it's there. That's right. That's good to know, you know. Honestly, that's the perk of working in an agency. Yeah, what is it? So the perk is that uh, basically you have someone uh, over you, you know, who you can look at you know, look up to, aspire, you know, get help from. Uh, so that, those are the benefits of working in, in an agency, you know. Even whenever I have a problem, I can come, hey, hey, this is happening. And you say, hey, relax. Okay, this is a problem. Let's just work it out. So this is the thing. Yeah, that's true. 100%, bro. 100%. Just takes time, man. You'll but be honestly, with this. Yeah, I hope. I'm gonna, I'm gonna to one day be the king of ads, king of DSL, and uh, you know, ship uh, social agency. Uh, I'm gonna be here. Let's go, bro. Let's go. What are we waiting for? See, see how easy this is to adjust, though? I know it because I have I already made some funnels and click funnels. So I know it's like drag and drop when you write two things. It's not that kind of a rocket science. Yeah. I 100% know it. And yeah, I mean, I, I'll drag and drop for each of the clients. I've set that up. Not a big issue. I mean, we'll go slowly, slowly towards, first of all, I'm going to target Revelation Autos because those are the clients that will help us, you know, experiment this. Yeah. Now, the main thing would be Pixel. If we can attach the, I mean, why uh, it is even going to be Pixel? Hey, 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 we, oh my God, that's so easy, bro. We don't even need to attach more pixels. Since it's our business exactly. manager. Exactly. It's our, we'll give exactly. that ad account access of our pixels. Exactly. So there will be one that will be getting all the data across all the ad accounts. And there will be the same pixel that will be used for all the ad accounts. Exactly. We don't. We don't need multiple pixels. And if we have all the data in one pixel, just look how how much important that pixel is going to be. Full of data. Exactly, bro. You got it. All the data is going to get every day. My God. It's, it's honestly making me excited. You got it, man. This is going to be way easier. And now I'm I'm creating the, the funnel. And then I'm going to even put mm -hmm. the pixel on it. And then I'm going to show you how yeah. to duplicate it. And then you can literally, you'll and be honestly, able to implement this. What? And honestly, we want, we would even, we would just need to set up the events once. That's it. Exactly. And the conditional logic once. And that's what we're doing right now. 
Ja. I don't know what's going on here on mobile. It's not what's showing. Happening? Oh, on mobile, it's not showing this whole funnel. Oh. You have to edit funnels in mobile is best. Oh, here. Yep. That's why. See, when I switched over to desktop, I click on advanced on this header, and then I have to click the desktop or the mobile version on. And now there it is. Is it snowing in Denver? Not today. So how do you clean? Do you clean your outside of your house the snow? Um, I live in an apartment, so oh, yeah, I don't have to worry about that really. It's the first of the new month, brother. Holy shit! My God, how quick was twenty one? Hold Did on. We just Hold realized. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, I said. Uh, I said. I uh, did. We even realize that six, seven years ago, we would used to talk about twenty twenty two, twenty twenty, and now look, we are almost cutting twenty three. Crazy, right? High uh, flies. It really does, man. And that's why we just get established and we we just kill it, man. Look, this is what the funnel is going to look like. Hi. I am location name. Okay. But um, which one is this? Which server? Driving with Steve. Copy, copy. Okay, so now I'm going to adjust this funnel so that we can, because we're going to have, this is going to be structured in a, in a sp very specific way, my friend. One way they're going to go for prime leads. So we're going to have a page, a thank you page for prime and a thank you page for subprime. So this one settings, thank you. Page. No, we don't need a for subprime, bro. Yeah, we do. Because that's how we're going to track the event. It's going to be by the URL. Okay, I get it. I get it. Yep. But I, I thought, why would we even need funnel for subprime while we can do it on the lead form? No, we're still, we're going to send all traffic to here. And we're going to, okay. yeah, when they click on in the survey, when they click that they are a low credit person, it's gonna send them through a different set of questions than if they say that they have higher credit. Does that make sense? I, I definitely does. It's a split. Exactly, so that's why we have to set up the, the form to have conditional logic, and then we have a page for each, so. This page. Do you think we'll, we'll be stopping all our lead form ads? No, I think we'll still run lead forms, but it'll just be different. Like we're going to do both systems and really monitor it close because lead forms, we can get them some good volume. We can make like whether or not people want to admit it, if we if we make lead forms harder to fill out, we'll get higher quality leads off of lead forms. So like I don't want to yeah. do away with lead forms. I built my business on them. They still work. But the thing is, is we need to just. Okay. They, are, they are the ones that, that makes you the number one leadership. Yeah, exactly. Because they get you so many leads for so cheap. And they, so we're going to do both, bro. Like we're going to have, 
a massive system going and it's just going to work to sell cars. And then I really like how well the destiny has been kind to you in terms of you choosing car dealership as your niche to go around and look with convergence, you could get a full credit app. So it becomes so easy for a car people to sell that car when you get a full credit app. Yeah, it definitely does. And so this is going to be, we're going to be getting full credit apps for subprime. If they say they're low credit, we're going to get a full credit app. If they say that they have high credit and a down payment, then we're just going to get a couple questions from them. And then we're just going to make them a lead. Because hmm. they're not as likely to fill stuff out for as long. And then we're going to redirect them to a calendar and an inventory page. So we're going to be get, we're going to be getting bookings and so we can optimize for prime test drive bookings at one point because we're going to aggregate all the data into our own account. Crazy, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. This is what we, you think I made a good choice with my investment. You did. Because he, 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 I mean, he, his talk is real, bro. He speaks business. Yeah. 100%, man, 100%. And let me tell you one thing. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't worry about the fact that the time is getting up or anything like that. When you pay someone, they know, they know exactly that you have paid them and now you want to take the fuck the value out of them. You know? Yeah. We need to just ask our questions. We don't care whoever it is because we have paid the money we just want to ask her questions because when I saw that English guy come in and just be asking his question and I was just like waiting and waiting and waiting. So I said, yeah, if, you, if I want to stay in this, then okay, I'm, go I'm going to just, you know, fight for my question. Hey, and then I'm not going to let speak anyone else because we have paid the money. I'm going to take most of it. Yeah, but you got to remember too, bro, like we have to be respectful and it's not going away anytime soon. Like, we're going to have a car. We're going to have a call with that guy next week and the week after. Like, just remember that, too. So we're respectful in these calls, you know. Bro, we were respectful and we always will be. Yeah, we just want to like, keep. let's just keep our questions like succinct and just make sure like, you know, like we're doing like one question, one or two questions. And then, you know, it was a really good conversation. I just want to make sure we're respectful. And then also, because like, all the questions, it wouldn't have shaped the way now we are thinking. That's the reason. I put in a question about lead forms and discarded the idea. Then put in the question about landing pages and supported the idea. Then the pixel thing came in, up in his side. If I would have asked only about the lead form, we wouldn't have been advised to take this route. Yeah. Okay, so you're pre-approved. Just just make sure in the future on, on calls that you're just, like, you know, like you just are super respectful. You let other people go in there and everything. And if there's nobody else in there, then ask all your questions. But I just want to make sure we're correct on that. I hope Thursdays would be fun to ask questions because it's so early. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. Just making sure. <laughs> I got you, boy. I got you, boy. And what after we sent it, did they say? Global standards. We will reach out soon to and text you some options we have available. If you submitted your landline, please email. Email. Process.
Mm. Yeah, we just go through and change everything Con to continue the process. Book A. Tell them to come in for a test drive. Slash. Why don't we add the addresses here, your physical address? So on this page, the URL triggers this as a submit application, right? Yep. Exactly. And then see, I'm just gonna add the calendar. Boom, calendar, test drive, boom. And then we're gonna say. How did you get this calendar? Huh? You, uh, it's in, it'll be in their accounts. So after we do this one, I'll duplicate it for um, one of our clients. Get automatically paired up here with their actual calendar? Yep. Okay. Whoops. Um, mm, boss mate. Boss mate. Do you always want to lead a business or do you or, or would you want to work in a business? Um I don't know. I might be open to uh working in somebody's business. Uh no, I'd always want to own my own business, but I'd consult with someone else's business or something like that. Hmm. You are a Neo. Mm -hmm. Hey, do you use a mic for call? Uh, no. Okay, then it's just through your earphone? Yeah. Awesome. Because these guys were using mics. Yeah, I do have a mic right here. I just I could set it up to my computer. Okay, so now we can have Geraldine edit some graphics for this too. No, wait, is the is the is it created? Funnel. Yeah, the funnel's created. We have the thank you subprime. Prime and subprime. They're, they're literally, they can be the same, right? There's no reason for them to be any different. So I'm actually going to just duplicate this other one. The only difference is, is the redirect from the calendar pages. Yeah. No, but the credit score? Yeah. Whenever they indicate that they have a low credit score, it's going to redirect them to the subprime one. And that's going to trigger a subprime conversion versus when they mark the other side then that's going to trigger a prime conversion. Okay. Makes sense? Yep. So I am thinking about labeling the pixel events as lead. Not a lead, I would say. Uh, also, Nate, let's not have any call buttons on the whole web page. 
we want the only button to be tracked as a lead is a subprime blending page. That's it. Uh, on the yeah, on the um, on the qualify page, yes, but on the actual um, on the front page, on the thank you page, we'll have um some call buttons there, but on the um main page, it's only going to be one button that goes straight to the qualifying page. Does that make sense? Uh, yeah. So then instead of the focusing on lead and submit application, we could also have, I mean, for submit application, we could have that landing page for prime one and for the lead when it goes to subprime, we can count it as probably like a complete registration. Exactly. Uh, Nate, one more thing, bro. Mm -hmm. uh, I texted Azim and he got a little upset. He says, you could have told me that you guys have an upfront fee. You told me you don't have. And I said, yeah, it's going to be 600 for this leveraging our case study. And he said, it's not going to be 600, it's 500. And they told me, I said, yeah, sorry, that's my bad. It's 500. I just forgot. So I just mentioned that 600. And then he said that I wouldn't be working with people that don't commit to their word. And all this. I mean, he was a little upset with that. I mean, man, uh, he's not a real business owner. Like these guys that they just come in and they don't really have clients and they, they're not like real yet. Like they don't really count. Like they have opinions. Yeah. They're like, do like, they're like little, like b small little yapping dogs. They're just like, I have clients. I have this, I have that, I have this. And it's like, dude, you're, you're wasting our time by, by trying to put, us in place before you even have any money to spend with us so it's like you know it's not really our our problem you know what i mean yeah okay so there's another guy that probably will be spending money with us the, he signed up a car sales person in the u.s and he wants to run only ads for them i said he won't be having access to our crm because i think he can only afford to pay 500 to 600 dollars for the ad so will that work Dude, for five hundred, six hundred dollar people, we're gonna start doing a course. Okay, so we can we can help them, we can train them, we can help them to implement the course. But that's the idea is we're gonna start doing like a little course for those people. Yeah, but for this person, I I think if we can help him, I I've told him that uh, for six hundred dollars we'll be only able to run your ads. So we'll just run the ads, and uh, you know, and then he said, do you guarantee anything? So I said for a budget of eight hundred dollars, I would say like uh, probably 80, 70, 80 leads would come in and uh, uh, like 15 or like 10 appointments probably. Yeah, um, I don't know if it's gonna work, dude. Like we don't wanna take on a bunch of low ticket clients. Like um, that's why like some education or something's gonna be better but like i've worked with a lot of white label and there's a reason i don't do it as much anymore and i want to be able to do some of that stuff but we just got to make sure that it it's the we're we're focused on the right people um so that's kind of my thing is like just making sure that it makes sense there uh, should i say no to him because he, he says that he has gotten our money from his client and he's ready to pay us in the next three days He's he's ready to go. Yeah, I mean he has signed the client. The client has uh, the client has sent the money. Clients already PayPal. signed. Yeah, so the so the PayPal transaction takes four or five days, and he says the money is on the way. He has paid the invoice, 
So he'll only be able to afford to pay us $600 out of what he receives to just simply run ads for them, no CRM, nothing else. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think we should be able to do something with that. We'll try it yeah, out. Yeah, let's try it out because, I mean, I don't want to really say no to him because I didn't know that uh, we wouldn't work with him. So I just said yes to him. And, uh, you know, and then he'll be like that. You guys, you know, just I signed the client, I signed you guys. And so probably $600 would come into your pocket and we'll just, I told him it will be just simply running ads, nothing more than that. We won't yeah. be really doing anything more. So he said, he said he's okay with that. Okay, yeah, it seems like we can make that something work there. You know, we don't have to worry about where the leads are going in, what's happening. We'll just run with the proven system. We have subprime, one campaign, and one campaign prime, and that's it. Exactly. Did you get charged by a bot? Yeah. Okay. I mean, don't you don't people fear putting their card information on Stripe, or does someone send you a link and then you put in your card information, or you just message them your card information? Uh, the first time, yeah, you put your card information in, pay the invoice, okay, but, but and then it saves it after then. Okay. So I guess Stripe is a very secure way of payment then. Yeah. What are you doing now? I'm moving this stuff. So it's in okay. a tighter. You just need to remove your logo cards with me there. Well, I'm going to keep the logos there so that they're placeholders. And then we know what oh. to what to change. I mean, how can we have Garden City's logo? I mean, how can we have that? I'll show can you. I... We can do that. To, we can. Yeah, we'll, we'll literally do that together. I'll show you. I just need to adjust this. Once we have the, the base one done, uh, it's going to be super easy. Okay. One thing I know for sure that I'm going to send Revelation Auto, uh, the, the, the landing page is going to be super excited, bro. Yeah. Yeah, dude. It's a, it's a big add-on for our service, you know? Do you want to charge him anything? Like $200? No. $200 no. Our service is it's all-inclusive, so... I'm just going to charge this card for the next month. So you're going to charge it. Okay, you'll charge it uh, this month for the next month, right? Yep. Oops. Look, you charge someone someone charges you what a psycho <laughs> that's how it goes man it's really how it goes okay this is better okay let, let's keep this image generic can we just uh, let's keep to literally this image generic can we use any other image because this only shows two cards like, like a convent image with four cards different cards here what are you talking about like even a half this image, the low market prices, low vehicle. Yeah, so we're going to change the images out for each client. Well, no, why we have to change it for each client? Is it, is it, is it, is because it's going to make person? it customized. That's what we're going to do. It's going to make it customized and it's going to look sick. It's going to make some really cool looking funnels that look like it. They, they're super complicated, but they're all going to follow the same framework. So we're just going to put like an ad picture of theirs right here that like Geraldine 
edited already or something like that. It's going to work. Okay. Well. Yeah, it's going to work really well. I just got to like even we could put it on the one car. Yeah, even if it's just a picture of a happy sold customer, whatever it is, is okay. fine. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Boom, looks good. Spacing uh, is on point. So the spacing is really important in these funnels, so I just want to get it right from the get go. Boom. Um, see that button that we took off. We change the color. Is that the same color? Why not change colors, bro? Why why change colors if if we know this is proven? Okay, I mean we wouldn't be flag for anything or. Hmm. Wouldn't we be flagged? I mean, will it be okay if we keep it the same? Mm hmm. Not quite spaced perfectly, but we'll adjust it. Okay, make sure mobile's on point. Um, it's paste all good. Um, this is for the... We just need to add the logo picture. What the? What happened? Why are these? Something got messed up. Should not change that easy process in the mobile version. Yeah, this is the way it should be. So let me just make sure all this stuff is up. Oh, here. One for mobile, one for mobile, one for mobile. Okay, now let's see. Just tedious. Hmm? It's easy work, but it's tedious. Tedious. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So oh, obviously, so, I mean, the technology, everything is easy, but definitely it's tedious. Yeah, that's kind of like marketing. Why in the bloody... Don't worry, bro. Don't worry. Okay, we'll just have to do it differently. So that, that one will be for that. Boom, that works. Why is it gonna show this guy in there? Oh, there we go. There we go. Save me, Timmy. Find the perfect card, is it? Okay.
Yeah, one second. I'll find the perfect card in the back there. Um, Let's put it in Garden City. If earplugs make my hair go so much, my ears feel so steel last night. Okay. Okay, I'm going to have to get on a call in a couple minutes. So let's look at this together real quick. Um... Button color. I sent you the image in Slack. Check this out. Bro, why is it popping? Select vehicle type. Will it be popping? Huh? Why is this popping? Yeah, it'll be hopping. You want to keep it in this way? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, man, it's perfectly aligned. Don't do any other stuff. And the, the places where you left images, okay, these are broken images, there you'll get happy customer images. That's right. Yep. Right here, you go over here, you go to reviews, boom, and it's going to pull in their reviews from there. So it's automatically mapped with Google. I won't yes, have to do anything. Exactly. Add it like yep. For Different. all of them. As long as they're signed in with their Google account. And not all of them are. So we have to make them sign into their Google account. Uh, looks if good. we have any doubts, we can even let it go. Exactly. If needed. And then the qualification page. So then in Go High Level, you map the surveys in a different place. So instead for surveys, you go to sites and there's a builder and it's this one. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to name this one. Oops. USA Drives. 
conditional logic application. And submit. It's going to open URL, which we're going to have to put in. So every time we'll have to change that URL in the survey. Um, And then you can set the pixel events in on the survey too. Thing. Where's the color? So this is where the background color FFF. Um, we need button color. That's a gray. You need to find where it's got like that blue color. Sorry, blue track size more. There we go. LFV. Bro, what is what does MIA stand for? Huh? MIA, what does it stand for? Missing in action. Oh. Dang, I don't know how to change this color. It's confusing. For what button? On the credit app. Okay. Let's see if this does it. See this button, I want to change the color of. I'll have to ask Nyan to help us set the form up. The form is set right? Yeah. So, do you want a color for button or we can just go with it? Yeah, so if they go good. I mean, we could just get apps at first. Mm 
Yeah. And not redirect them. That's what you say. Boom, same survey, boom. Okay. All right, bro, I got to hop on this uh, call. Okay, so check this out, bro. So this will be good now. So all you're going to do, are you with me? Salmon, are you there? Hello? Hello. Hey, you there? Yeah, 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 I can hear you now. I don't know what happened. Your voice turned robotic. Huh, that is weird. United Drives. Okay, so let's make the pixel. Actually, I'll have to, ju I'll have to jump on this later. I got to get on this sales coaching. Um. Okay, don't worry. We'll we'll figure this out tomorrow. And with you being present there, I'll make edits for Gar uh, for Revolution Autos and Caricards also there, on the spot. Okay, so what you could do is you could just um to make those funnels. You just go into the cars with Nate, and then mm -hmm. I'm saving this funnel right now. No, you could save it, and with you tomorrow on a Zoom call live, I I can I can just do it on my hands. Just just look, just look. This it's already saved. I already did all the work. So now okay. all, all you have to do is just duplicate it into the account and change the pictures and go through every um and upload the calendar and stuff like that. And it's ready to go. So you go into the cars with Nate. V one is what it is, and you just click this little button up okay. at the top. Okay, for one second, one second, which button? Um, actually, sorry, you you just go right here to to the top funnel, and you click the three dots, and then you go clone, and you can clone it into up to three locations at the same time. So you want to do Revelation Autos, uh -huh. Gar Garden City, uh -huh. and Character, uh -huh. 
Okay, so we'll start with those three and we'll just name it. Or I guess we don't have to name it that. We can just name it um, application application funnel. Uh -huh. Application super funnel, boom, clone. Now you just go to Revelation Autos and you're just gonna take pictures from the ads and upload them into the library. So look, now in Revelation Autos, he's got this funnel. You pull this up and then you just click edit and then uh, you'll just start adding in the pictures. So whatever pictures we have from Geraldine, whatever pictures from their Facebook, download those mm -hmm. and then uh -huh. upload those here. So you'll click on the picture here and then you'll click down mm -hmm. on the left hand side and it'll pull up all your pictures and you can upload files. And so you can upload some different pictures and stuff. Um, and then once those are uploaded, you click them and then that'll change places. Make sure you save it up here. Now where to save? Up in the top right after you do everything. Okay. And okay. then and then go back and then it will be automatically saved. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So and I could add any pictures, like I, I would prefer a happy customer picture at the start. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Happy customers, happy sold customers, maybe one of the graphics that Geraldine created and just mix it up. And then you go to the qualification page and you just do a little logo at the top. And then uh, the, the survey is already good to go. Oh, you're going to have to go. Okay. So that's another thing too, in the cars with Nate. So now we've got the um the funnel optimized, but we have to go to the survey and we have to go to our new USA Drives credit app and we have to copy this and then put it into those locations. So you'll add that into the funnel. Does that make sense? Characters and Garden City. So Garden City characters and Revelation Autos all ready to go. And then tomorrow we'll look at mapping the rest of the stuff. But if you could just take one of them so you know the process and um, get the pictures in there, that'd be great. So, so I mean, is the, is, is it mapped? I'm um, not mapped. I mean, is the credit app linked with them now? Uh, we'll link it tomorrow, but it's in their accounts. So, so then you just go into there and you click into their funnel. Um... Yeah, you click in the funnel, you go to qualify, edit, edit page, edit, edit page. And then you click, click on it. It says you don't have any surveys yet. You click on that, click surveys, and then click the USA Drives credit app. And then it pulls it in there. Whoops, I just deleted it. I can go to undo up here. Boom, save. Oh, it's done. Preview. So I mean, whenever I will go to survey, I'll find that USA credit drive app on the left hand side. Exactly. Okay. Can you can you share the can you share the access of this with me? I don't have the GHL access. You don't have the access to GHL? Yep. What do you mean? How do you know? Aren't you in Lead Connector? Yeah, I am. Then you just have to log into app the shift CRM. It'll be the same login and stuff for you. Okay, so the password? Uh, it should be password one, two, three, explanation point. Explanation. Okay. Just give me, just, just please do one thing. Just share this website URL link, the messenger. That's it. The app.theshiftcrm.com. Yeah. Okay, let me know if you have any trouble logging in. And dude, look, in the agency view here, so up on the left, you can switch between accounts and you can go to agency view. Look, it shows uh, an overview of what's going on with the client. So Characters Auto, bro, is down 23% on lead form submissions. They're down 50% on number of appointments. Uh, they're down on everything, bro. Look, down on contacts, down on everything. Characters, is, we are not doing a good job of scaling them while maintaining a low cost. So we can see that. I'm just pointing out, though, like we'll look at that later. I'm just pointing out that we can see, like, look, drive with Dustin. He's got 12 calls out, six calls in, 
emails, bunch of text messages. It shows all of that. Uh, all right. Okay. So we can see how active different clients are. Uh, -huh. uh okay. So what are you, are you able to get in there then? Yeah, I I look at it tomorrow then when I wake up. Okay, you're not gonna adjust the uh the landing page right now and start those. Oh, I guess it is late. Okay, cool. No worries, man. Yeah, that sounds good. I'll talk to you then. Yeah, surely I'll probably do it like uh eleven p.m. twelve a.m. your time. I'll be doing this up. Okay, sounds good, man. Hit me okay. up. Okay, I will. Okay. Later, man. Have a good day.